It's been a bumper season for saffron. Growers say the weather conditions in western Afghanistan are ideal for cultivation. International aid agencies have trained farmers for years and it's paying off. Many switched to saffron after the Taliban banned their crops. We see a lot of farmers who were earlier growing poppy turn to saffron. This is one of the reasons for the increase in production. Also, saffron needs less water. Farmers have worked very hard to increase the quantity and the quality of saffron. Saffron is the most expensive spice in the world. A kilogram can fetch nearly $2,000, and Afghanistan is a leading exporter. In Herat province, it's a major source of employment, especially for women who make up most of the workforce. But this year, traders are struggling to move their produce. Most countries severed ties with Afghanistan when the Taliban took over in August 2021, cutting off access to traditional markets. Receiving payments has also been challenging. There is limitation. Still, we can't receive our money in time. And we should bring from our money in case we have any customer. It should have a bank uh, account in Dubai to be transferred to Dubai and then bring it in here uh, through the Sarafi. And it is a, a, most, a, a huge percent of losses in transaction and wiring. Farmers say doing business domestically has become easier and there's less corruption. Some old problems have been solved. For example, it becomes faster to process paperwork than during previous governments. We have about 100 hectares of land under cultivation. It's become easier to access and look after it. Transport facilities have improved. It's easier to get to Kabul by road and by air. Recently, Afghanistan revived some exports. It shipped dried fruit and saffron worth $2 million to the EU this month. Growers hope the Taliban government will do more to revive industries to uplift the struggling economy. Pafni Mittal Al Jazeera.